The next step is to solve the first two layers. Now in the layer by layer method, you are taught to solve all the corners first, like so. So that you have the entire first layer completed. However, this takes too long because on the second step of the layer by layer method, you solve the edge. Remember, you put the edge piece, match it up with this color, and do some kind of algorithm. And okay, I'm going to stop you right here. That's halfway through the algorithm. The rest of the algorithm does this. Okay, now I want to show you what the first half does. The first half groups an edge and a corner together and the second half of the algorithm puts it in the correct spot like so but really we don't have to waste our time doing this we can go right off the bat and start pairing up all of our pieces so now that we have our cross let's start pairing up pieces what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a corner and its corresponding edge to be correctly positioned next to each other like so this is green and orange and green green and orange so once we do that we get our pieces together the next part is to go ahead and put it in its correct spot this is orange and green and this is orange and green boom nice and easy and you'll notice I, I was able to do that without messing up anything else I already had. So really, you don't need to get all the corners first. Because you're going to end up pairing them up anyway. So you might as well start with your pairs. Now let's go over how to get these groups paired together. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you three basic methods on how to pair pieces together. Feel free to try your own methods and experiment a little bit to find some more methods that might work better. These aren't the only cases, and trust me, there are some much faster ways to do this. For simplicity, I'm just going to choose a, sim a few of these. Now all of these three methods I'm going to show you work with the corner in the bottom layer, or the cross layer. So let's find a corner, for example and put it in the bottom layer like so now to do this all you have to do is use any combination of right moves and up moves for example here's one right up right inverse easy bring up the edge kind of slide it over get it next to the edge and when you put the edge back down the corners there okay that you should be able to figure out on your own. If you can't, you can always use the, the algorithms from the layer by layer method. Just make sure that you don't go through the entire thing. You don't need to have the white on the bottom as long as the piece is in the bottom layer. So now that that's done, we have the corner in the bottom layer, the cross layer. We can go ahead and look for its corresponding edge. Now this is a red and green piece. So we're going to look for the red and green edge. Okay, it's right here. Now, if it's already in what I like to call a slot, this is the up layer, and these little pieces right here in between the centers, these are the slots, the four slots. If it's already in a slot, do the same moves that you do to get a corner out. Just kind of do an R, a U, and an R prime, and that'll pop the edge right out. Okay, another benefit to this method is that in the layer by layer method, if you did that, you would be messing up the corner. You have to do a long algorithm just to get the edge out of there if it's in the wrong spot. This, you don't need to worry about that. So now that we have the piece here, um, the first situation is where the edge is off to the side. I'm sorry, the, the base color, in this case it's white, the base color is off to the side, so like this. As in it's not on the bottom like this one. It's off to the side. Now. We're going to line these two pieces up on the same layer, like so. So that's off to the side, and now these two are on the same layer. Now you'll notice that these are opposites. So we have red, green, and green, red. Those are opposites. So now all I have to do is take the corner and pull it up towards the edge, like so. 
now that they're paired up, I have my pair. Now I need to put this piece back, this orange piece. It needs to go back in the cross. So I don't want to mess that up. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And then go ahead and fix my cross. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, so that's one way to get the pair. Um, let's go ahead and do another way to get the pair. Another way to get the pair um, is if you have this situation. Where again, it's the same thing. This is off to the side. And you have your red-green. But this time, they're the same color. See, red-green, red-green. So I can't just pull it up because it'll be flipped the wrong way. So this is where I have to do um, one of these algorithms. Now you're gonna take the edge, and if it's the same color, you're gonna move it over to where it's on the side that has the base on it. At this point, the base should be off to the side. Now you're gonna put it in front of you and line up the edge to where it's on the same face. Now, it, at this point, at this point, if the edge, I'm sorry, the corner, is on the right, this is the algorithm that you're going to do. It's going to be R prime, F, R, F prime. And there you go. You got your pair.